So then, we're going and looking at, at how I'm actually going to go and design the curriculum. Uh, I thought that it, uh, it might just be important just to have a look at how a traditional curriculum is sequenced first, and uh, then how we go and we factor in both substantive and disciplinary knowledge into the curriculum that we're going to look at design. So traditionally, the curriculum follows the kind of a structure, of, as far as I've ever experienced, of a unit of biology, followed by a unit of chemistry, followed by a unit of physics. Right. So in year seven, students usually start off with biology, looking at cells and movements around cells and such forth. Right. And for the last 17 years, that is that's always been uh, been my experience of it. Right. So this had its benefits in that students need to understand that organisms are made up of more than one cells and cells have many of the same structures and carry out various basic life sets or life processes. So knowing the structure of cells and the process that, uh, that they're carrying out is important in understanding uh, everything else about living organisms. Right. However, so um, when we're thinking about this on the surface, it seems like a good idea. However, the issue is that this topic has a lot to do with, uh, with the movement of molecules by diffusion. So before students can really understand how molecules diffuse across the membrane and such forth, they need to understand the chemistry behind uh, behind molecules and atoms. However, the chemical basis of the movement of molecules relies on students understanding about uh, about the energy levels of, of atoms and the effect that that has on their physical properties. So so this kind of implies that we need to go and, and rethink the order that we're going and how we're structuring our, our curriculum in general. And uh, like I previously said, with the increase in both substantive and disciplinary knowledge within the curriculum, it's, it's really important that we keep that at the forefront of our minds in, in everything that we kind of we, we're planning in. So before we can think about how we're going to go and structure the curriculum, I just want to outline just both what we mean by substantive and disciplinary knowledge and kind of the interplay between these uh, these two distinct distinct groups. Right, so substantive knowledge is basically the academic knowledge that students need to go and understand. So it involves kind of the concepts and such forth that's underpinning the uh, the curriculum. So a uh, high quality science curriculum is not only uh, important that students are looking at this, but it's also important that they're learning procedures and such forth. So that's where disciplinary knowledge comes in. So disciplinary knowledge is best described as the action taken within a particular subject to gain that knowledge right so whether that's doing experimental work in science whether it means where they're going and, and analyzing and utilizing graphs and such forth it's all it's all kind of or developing developing skills in order to go and use those analytical skills and be able to go and explain concepts it's really important that we're keeping that at the forefront of our minds whenever we go in and we're looking at how we're going to go and design our curriculum.